How is it going from what you've done and then working with Spielberg? I mean, that must have been amazing. Being a, such a you know big power player in the entertainment world. What would you give uh, advice to up and coming directors and stuff on getting their stuff made? Uh, I mean, you know, my way kind of worked for me maybe as a fluke, uh, but I know a lot of other directors started just by you know making their own movie. If you look at uh, the the history of uh, filmmakers like Darren Aronofsky, Christopher Nolan, right. they started making tiny, tiny, low budget films and make the uh, you know kind of worked the way up to, to huge blockbusters. So uh, I, I like the idea of just you know picking up a video camera and right. starting to shoot. I, I will say as an advice, the most important thing that doesn't have to cost a lot of money is casting. Right. Make sure that the actors, like in, in Paranormal Activity, Katie and Mika were unknowns, mm -hmm. but they're the reason that the movie worked because right. they were so fantastic. So that's the most important thing that will make or break a low budget movie. And how is it shooting a movie like that with, with obviously a massive budget? or a bigger budget to what you started with. You know, you've gone from being given $15,000 to make a movie and now you've, well, the river and shows like mm -hmm. that, that you've got all this money. How different is it working with that? Well, you know, the, the one thing you always discover is no matter what the budget and what's the project, you always don't have enough money. Right. You always run out of money, so. Everyday life. And although the, the, the budget for Chernobyl Diaries was higher than Paranormal Activity, of course, right. but it had, has a much larger scope. Right. We were shooting in Eastern Europe and we had many different locations and larger crews, so you still have to really kind of think very creatively how to accomplish different things and you always kind of try to maximize every, every single dollar that you have. But it's a very different experience, you know, Paranormal Activity, I shot in my own home. We you, which I found out, yeah, I was, I was amazed by that. Yeah, so that actually made it very easy right. and very cheap, and there was you know, virtually no crew, just my best friend and my girlfriend. Right. And um, you know, so now when you do a real movie with a right. real crew, it's a totally different experience. And do you, do you still live in that house? Is that still your house? Yeah. Is that a nice to get, that must be hard to get people to stay over. Actually, Surely, right? well, you know, most of my people, my friends, they've been to my house before Paranormal Activity. Okay. They can separate fiction and... Uh, but if you were to meet someone new and said, come over tonight. Sometimes people are a little crypto. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So that's a little bit worrying. Um, and talking about the river as well. How was it going from what you've done and then working with Spielberg? I mean, that must have been amazing, right? Well, yeah, working with Spielberg is, is like, you know, very surreal. Like, you know, I can't even, uh, even in Paranormal Activity, when I heard that he saw my movie and he loved it, it's like, like, are you serious? Right. And uh, having an opportunity to work with him, that was an amazing experience. 